Hello, my name's Donna Arnold and I am the Story Hunter. Now today, what I wanted to talk to you about was hidden treasures, that's what I call them anyway, hidden treasures in our family tree. It is so fascinating just doing the search and finding them, coming across them after you've sort of got little bits of information. It's just like finding treasure, like a treasure map. Remember those movies where they're the old, uh, in the Caribbean, especially with the pirates and they're, they're finding treasure. There's even just the modern stories where they've discovered an old galleon and they're looking for treasure and they do come across some interesting pieces of coin, etc. There's the, and the movie, the stories as well. It's, it's exactly the same. You don't go to the second chapter and then there it is. It's about twists and turns and bits of information to find that discovery. Now that discovery, that treasure could be finding out where your ancestors came from, that little town in you know um, that you now know if you want to. You could go and visit there and have a look around, which is certainly the sort of thing that I'd like to do. It's also about photos or documents with bits of information. But when it comes to the photos of actual family members, that's what amazes me because I can usually see a facial feature and no, I'm not dreaming, but yes, I can. So this is the things that I've got examples of today, but just a little bit about myself before I go into depth with what I found is I just love doing the family tree. Just love it. I remember a time there about three, four years ago where I sat for months, day upon day upon day, doing the research. I just loved it. I only got up to go to the toilet, got up to get a cup of coffee and probably had rice crackers mainly for snacking on so I could sit there at the desk and continue searching hunting so it was just amazing because now I've got these stories of these fam the ancestors of what they did and I've learned where I came from I just think it's absolutely wonderful so if you're interested and you want some help with your family tree I would love to help you send me a message um, you can DM me or um, send me the email and I will be in touch and I can help now we can go just help you with that maze because there's a lot of dead ends and it can be confusing and disheartening and you want to give it away um, so I can help you just find your way or you I can help you create a story from one of your family members as well just like I'm doing with mine okay so now back to my hidden treasures so what I found is um, while I have found out all of a sudden um, backing up the DNA that I've actually got an ancestor in Lithuania I'm in the Baltics there's a good reason to go I've also noticed in some photos too and other family uh, branches that there are features that are carried through generation after generation through to people who are alive today. And that just fascinates me because when you go talking four or five generations, you've got other people coming into the mix. So the chances are, what are the odds of having what those features come all the way through? Now, I remember actually seeing a photo of just my grandmother when she was about 30, holding on to one of her children, one of the babies. And whoever was with me, I said, look at that, who does that remind you of? And of course, they all said me. And of course, we went, well, yeah, well, okay, then, you know, she's my grandmother. Of course, you might expect some sort of resemblance, but we just brushed it off, see. But now that I'm doing the ancestry and uh, the, the family tree, I can see in photos, I have, um, there's a family member who is now an adult, but when she was a baby, her eyebrows are the same. Her forehead and her eyebrows are the same as this five, four times great grandfather. They're so obvious and I couldn't believe it. And then there's another one where another four times, five times great grandfather, he looks so much like my brother. I just kept looking at him going, he looks like my brother. He looks like my brother. I cannot believe how similar. And then, of course, one of my sons has those similar features to that same brother. So there's another generation again, if that same features have come through, those genes have traveled through. That blows me away. Not enough to become a scientist. I'll leave the science bit to the DNA professionals and things like that. I just like to know the results and where it came from and I can do that thing. So that's the sort of thing that I'm fascinated with and that's what I was talking about today. Hidden treasures, they really are. And they will blow you away when you do notice them and, and recognize who somebody is alive today. Well, that's it for me. I look forward to seeing you next time with my next story. And in the meantime, I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for listening. Bye.